Paul, you just said there's champagne in here and there wasn't when oh we left. Oh my God, there's champagne in here. O-M-G. Team Hotel de Brett. What? Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is fabulous. Going up. This fabulous place. Our hotel. Say, would you stand your ground if I lose mine? Even if it takes me a long time to realize that I'm wrong and I'm singing a song with lyrics that don't rhyme. I keep fading away to a place that don't feel safe. And I pray that I wake up one day. I'm falling to pieces. I'm breaking apart. Where do I start? I'm falling to pieces, I'm breaking apart. Welcome to Auckland, and we are staying at the magnificent Hotel de Brit in Auckland. Let me show you around. This is the main bedroom. This is, I believe, a either king or queen size. This looks like a king size bed. Um, there are four pillows. There is a lovely mattress and it does feel rather squishy and very soft. There is a table over here for you to do your work. There is also a desk on either side with a lamp and the telephone on one side and a radio on another. This is a very interesting piece of art. I think that these items are either chili peppers or something like that, but it is very, very eye-catching indeed. And I'm holding right here the menu for Debrett's Kitchen. They do breakfasts as well as dinners. So it's definitely a go-to if you don't feel like going out. This is a luggage holder and it is for your luggage to sit like this. Let's hope it doesn't fall. What happens if you have four suitcases though? I think you might need four of them. <laughs> now, let's see what's behind door number one. Or is it door number two? So we have a closet for your clothes and we have an iron and ironing board. And over to the right, there is a selection of loose teas with a glass. And on the second shelf is, I think, a kettle or something for your tea or coffee. There's mugs. There is, what is this? This is one of those posh things. Teapot. For the tea, yeah, teapot. What's this? It's a torch. This is a bit Look, this is so you can see in. Oh. I assume. I've never seen a torch in a hotel before, have you? Not really. Moving on to the next level, there are things to purchase. There is a kettle to use as well to boil your water. And the price list isn't that bad. It's, well, it's 
doable. Underneath is the safe for you to keep all your essentials safe and sound. And let's not forget about the refrigerator underneath. When they checked this in before, they said that they were going to provide fresh milk every day, which is a really nice touch, I believe. Look, there is a magnificent Sony flat screen TV perched onto the wall. And I think this is going to keep us nice and entertained. We will be doing a separate episode on the New Zealand channels later on in the series. But wait, there's more. There's a fabulous courtyard area, which is partitioned, but then you do see all these lovely flowers and you do get the ambience of the hotel. I had no idea it was going to be like this. Look, I see a red curtain. Let's close it and I'll see you on the other side. Peekaboo! Okay, so now let's explore this room. So there's a light switch here for controlling the lights. And then you can also dim it if you prefer or make it a lot brighter if that's what you want. Wow, look, there is a nice long sofa and two chairs for company and it does feel rather, rather cozy. There's also a TV right in front of me, which is the same TV as the one in the bedroom. And of course, there has to be a bathroom. So now let's turn on the lights, which they were on already. So we do have this black and white background, which is black dots on white background and it does give like a sleek type of finish to the whole room I think and now there is a lovely toilet it's like one of the ones where the lid closes very slowly as to not make an abundance of noise and then there is a lovely sink there is the Marahi Aitiora, that's how they say New Zealand. New Zealand, I believe. And it's amber and cedar wood. Not really sure what this is. Soap. It's soap of some sort. Oh, look, Marcus, this is something mm -hmm. that you would like. There are Q tips mm -hmm. and cotton buds. Very cute. And wait, there's more. Look, there's a bath for you to go into. Look, there's a shower over here from, and it's kind of steep. I, shouldn't there be lights? Wait, let me turn on the lights. Okay, so this oh, is... So, a light box. So this is a light fixture, and this light also comes on. And of course, this light comes on as well. I do like this whole setup and I do like this large shower head. I love shower heads. And look, they have many different um, shampoos, body wash, and also conditioner because I do use all three and I do like to smell nice. And this is a weird thing. There is a step ladder for you to climb up just in case you need to reach uh, different heights or maybe it's for maintenance purposes. Who knows? I do like discovering different things, new things in fact. So there is a hair dryer with different nozzles for heat temperatures, I guess. And then there are four different towels underneath. What's this? Ooh, look. 
Himalayan bath salts. This would be perfect for you, Marcus. When we checked in before, we were given these two vouchers. I think it's for one free drink per person. So I think we are going to be using it at the house bar, which is on the same floor that we are staying in, which is very, very convenient indeed. One thing that I noticed when we came in were these um, door tassels. I think that they might keep away ghosts or evil spirits, maybe. Do you think so? Or is it to denote, do not disturb or make up my room? Yeah, that sounds right as well. I discovered this when I opened the cabinet before and there's like a robe uh, I do like wearing it sometimes, especially when it's cold and I don't know whether it's going to be cold while we're staying here in Auckland, but I think this is definitely a good thing to have. One of the reasons why we chose Hotel de Brett was because it is a boutique hotel, meaning each of the 25 rooms is unique. There is no duplication. So the guest has a unique, customized experience that they would cherish forever, and I'm sure we will as well. Some things should really be set in stone, such as subscribing to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Isn't this fabulous, Paul? Oh my god. We've just stepped out of the hotel and Auckland has welcomed us with absolutely spectacular weather. It's the beautiful blue sky. Winter is day? Well, it's early spring, late winter, yes. sort of on the cusp, if you like. It's about 17 degrees. Oh, and wow. look, you're wearing a jacket because you're wearing a t-shirt and I'm just wearing a shirt, long sleeves. And we need something to eat. We've been awake for about 60 hours, bar the odd shut eye of uh, maybe an hour or two on the plains on the way over. And I have just spotted the Occidental, which was on our list of places to go. Shall we check it out? That was fabulous at yes, the Occidental, and it wasn't accidental that we went there, it was planned. And we had a fantastic Sunday roast, because it is a Sunday, pork roast. a pork roast with crackling that I could actually eat. It was soft enough for my terrible teeth. Yes, beep, beep, beep. Hello. And we had two local beers. Now, it's actually a Belgian Pilsner. pub, but they did their own Occidental Pilsner you got and I had an IPA and they were absolutely 
delicious. Now, we've come on to, I don't know what street this is. Is it Shortland Street? Possibly. This is Windham. It's what? Wind. Wind what? Windham Street. Windham Street. That's that. That's Windham Street. But what I've noticed when we've been watching YouTube videos about Auckland is I have seen this street many yeah. times. It's very noisy as well. shop signs where they hang sort of below the awning on a little sort of like an awning and that it's also how we've seen them in Australia as well when we've watched um, videos from there so that's the first time that I've seen it I just thought I'd mention it ah so, Hay Road so we're going to be we heading there later so in the we, week so we could take the City Link bus to K Road because it forms kind of like the circle line, I think. I see. Well, we've decided that we are going to take a little walk down to the Brittle Mart, which is the central railway station, and there's like a shopping centre there too. But we're just going to have a little look because it's down by the harbour, isn't it, Paul? It feels quite fresh today. Yeah, me. it's about 15 Celsius at the moment. It is quite a drop from our 34 that we have had recently. Indeed. Not recently when you're watching this, but when we were recording it. We are in Metro. It's our first time in an Auckland supermarket, so we're just going to give you a little look around and discover what we see. Sushi. sushi. I think this is sushi. Not bad. Ten, ten dollars, eight dollars, eight dollars. Look at this. What is that? Look at these. A lolly cake slice, a raspberry slice, and a ginger slice. <gasps> Coffee walnut. I am overwhelmed. I think I need one. Oh my god, look. I want one of these slices. I just don't know you which one. You should get one go. then. I'm gonna get. Oh, lolly cake. Isn't that lollies a thing over here? For $6.19. These are like tray bakes. Look at this. <laughs> a Belgium square. Oh my god. It's massive. Oh. And I've got to say, I love New Zealand already. Look, this is a caramel square. Holy not, cow. Not a millionaire shortbread, no, no. They're calling it what it is. Square. A caramel square. Oh, look, I remember these brands at home. Gin, this brand for sure. Look, look at Grandpas love every bite. Oh, but didn't we need water? Well, we've come to check out Brito Mart, which is the central travel hub and shopping area, I think, as well. Um, we will be looking at it in more depth in a later episode, but we thought, as the weather is so nice, it's down by the harbour front, so let's go take a look down there. It's a little bit windy, but isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Look at the the boats out there on the sea. This is the Auckland Harbour front. And it looks like that's some large vessel. I don't know quite what it is. A cargo ship, I suppose. But it's nice. Here we go. Paul, you just said there's champagne in here and there wasn't oh when we left. Oh my god, there's champagne in here. O-M-G. Team Hotel de Brett. What? Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is fabulous. Shall we see what 
what what it says. Oh, is, is there like a card? I think so. I think I need to keep this. <clears throat> Oh, look at that. That's lovely. Kia Ora, we hope you enjoyed your stay at Hotel Debris. We are glad to have you now, as it is said, better late than ever to be a part of your plan for today. Please enjoy this bottle on us, Adam and the team. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh my gosh. That is just so nice. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I think that we need to drink this. It is a good thing we didn't really drink too much before, isn't it? Indeed. Well, we will be tucking into our champagne, which will certainly put us to sleep tonight. And before that, I'm just going to take you through the haul that we got at New World Metro. So I got a Herald on Sunday. And it says it's New Zealand's best read Sunday newspaper. Now, I'm probably not going to get to read it today, but I will certainly be reading this either during our stay or when I get home. And I'm going to be buying other newspapers while I'm here. But I wanted to just show you a couple of other things that we've got at the supermarket. I watched this guy called Curls, and he talks about lollies and other things um, on YouTube. He's a, a London guy, he lives in, in New Zealand. And I got this lolly slice. And they come in other flavors as well. There was a ginger slice, and there was another one that I can't remember now. Um, but I'm gonna try this, because it, it looks as though it's got bits of marshmallow or something to it. Let's see what it's like. Mmm. Mmm. It's not overly sweet. It's got a kind of, I don't know, kind of half cake, half toffee consistency. Let's try this bit with the pinky bit in it. Mmm, look, there's other colors as well. I don't think I'm gonna eat it all in one go because we did have our Sunday roast. I'm also going to show you these bars of chocolate. Whitaker's is the big chocolate maker over here in New Zealand. And again, watching some of the YouTube videos, I have seen that Whitaker's gets a really good reputation. So hopefully it will live up to that. Now, finally, for this episode, but this will be leading into other ones. When you are in Auckland, you need to travel around sometimes, either by bus or by train or even by boat. Okay. And to do that, you use the at hop card and you tag on, which is basically tap on and tag off, tap off when you use the transport. It was five dollars for the card and we loaded, we got one each and we loaded it up with ten dollars and you can then register online and top up online and also through the app so you can see how much you've spent. I asked the lady at the kiosk how much a bus fare was and there's no set limit, it depends where you're going. So if you do not tag off, you will be charged the full fare. So that's a good warning. So that's it for today. Join us next time after we've uh, enjoyed this bottle of champagne. We're gonna get stuck in.